Welcome, everybody. Hey, hey. <laughs> Good boy, Tucker. Work smarter where you want. This is learning at its most fun. Hello, welcome everybody. My name is Curtis. I am a Redtail trainer here at Redtail Technology. And today you have joined our Thursday webinar on Redtail Essentials Advanced Search. Uh, so really what we're gonna be doing is covering our feature where we can actually narrow down groups of contacts based off of fields that are specific to their contact record. Essentially, advanced search is just an easy way to group and narrow down and find those contacts that you need. Uh, to start out, we're actually gonna switch over to the database here. So looking at the database, there's a few things I actually wanna talk about before we get into the advanced part is actually talking about the basic contact search. So up in the top left-hand corner, you'll see where it says search contacts. This field allows me to search for first and last name for contacts. So essentially, if I type in Kevin uh, right up here, let me type that again. If I type in Kevin, it's going to show me any contact who has Kevin as their first or last name in the dropdown. Now, the dropdown part is only reactive to first and last name, but this search contacts actually does give me a little bit more um, capability for searching if I wish. I can actually type in um, a word that is in maybe like their email address, maybe uh, an, a number in their address, the street they live on. I can also type in tax ID or date of birth or even account number to find contacts who match that. Now for all of those other fields that are searchable in here, those don't always populate the contacts in the dropdown. This dropdown is only responsive to first and last name. So for instance, if I search the word red tail, you're gonna see I have two contacts. I have Redtail Trainer and Ricky Redtail, but instead of selecting those two options, if I just hit enter on my keyboard, it's going to search for Redtail in other places of the contact record. So even though I only had two dropdowns, my search result of Redtail actually brought back 89 contact records. Now, the reason for that means that the word Redtail exists in either their email address, their address. Um, for instance, most of these people actually have a redtailtechnology.com email address, and so they're populated in my search. Um, so again, the search contacts is great to find contacts by their first name, last name, tax ID, date of birth, account number, and also using any of their contact information like phone number, email address, or address. Now, again, that's just the basic search. We're gonna actually cover advanced search. And to get to an advanced search, no matter where you are in the database, you always have the ability to go to the left navigation menu and then click on contacts. If you're unfamiliar with it, you can actually change the default tab of your contacts up here at the top. So you'll notice when I click contacts, it already defaults and shows me advanced search. If you haven't changed this before, your default is probably going to say favorites. And so let's actually show you how to actually change that preference if you want it to go to advanced search or to any of these other options. So again, this is strictly going to be changing the tab up here at the top anytime I click on contacts on the left. So to do that, we're gonna to go to our name in the top right hand corner, then go to preferences. And then on the very first box where it says general options, I can scroll down and where it says default contact screen. Mine already says advanced search. Yours again is most likely defaulted to favorites, but you can change it to any one of these tabs. And again, that's just coming to say, anytime I click on contacts on the left, this is where I want to start out. So I always like to start out with advanced search, but again, not every user um, prefers to do that. And the best part is because it's a user preference in your name in the top right and preferences there, if you change it, it's only going to affect your username. So any user in your database can have a different preference in this aspect. Now, advanced search is just like that. It's going to be searching a little more advanced where we can actually create tiers and layers, a lot of different options to find groups of contacts that make it easier for us. Uh, now with this, if I did want to search maybe on a contact status, um, the contact status, and I'm going to actually use Kevin Arnold as our example today, is located in the contact details of the contact record. So in the contact on the 
right hand side when you scroll down a little bit it'll say contact details and we're going to start focusing on searching by status and category now status and category are customizable drop down lists so the values that are here are customizable and unique to your own database so keep in mind you might see different values in my database today than you have in your database but in this case i see he's an active client now, if I want to pull up every single contact record who also has the status of active client, that's what I'm going to use advanced search for. for. So in this case, I'm going to go to the left-hand side and click on contacts. I already have it tabbed over on advanced search, and I'm going to use these four boxes. We have type, field, operand, and value. Using those four boxes, I can actually set up parameters to find those contacts. Now, starting at the beginning with type, I'm going to select contact. You'll see there's quite a few different sections that I can search for in the database. Most commonly, though, I'm looking for a field that's inside the contact record. So it's not saying I'm just searching a contact. This is saying I'm going to look for a field that's in the contact. Or maybe I want to look for a field that's in the address. Or maybe a field that's in the know your client section. This is just telling me where I'm going to start to narrow down for what field I'm going to look for. So in this case, most commonly used here is going to be contact. Then I can go down to the right and choose the field option. You'll see I have a pretty long list here, but it's in alphabetical order. So I can actually come down and click status. Then from there, the operand tells the search how to work. So if I'm looking for something that has to do with the contact status, I actually want to find a value that is equal to but you'll notice I have other things like greater than, less than or equal to, is empty, is not empty. Most commonly I see with advanced searches, we're looking for equal to. And then at that point, the value shows me all of the possible options that are in the contact status. And like I said, I wanna find every contact who has the status of active client. Now, this is probably one of the most basic searches for the advanced search, contact status equal to active client. I can hit run. And it's going to automatically show me here is every single contact that is listed with that status. Now, you'll notice that I have status, then I have category. I also have source and type. Even though I only have a few um, columns here for these, it doesn't limit me to only searching by those fields. The, the search is completely controlled up at the top here. So if I want to see my active clients, but also narrow it down to if they also have a specific category, so maybe I don't want to see the double A's under categories or the single A's, just the triple A's, what I can do is come back up to the top, over to the right hand side, I have two buttons. Now we're going to start with the one on the right that says and. And when I click on it, will give me another layer. It almost is sort of like narrowing down a funnel. So it, 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 it uh, pushes itself over to where I can actually choose. Uh, not only does that contact have to have the status of active, but I also want to find the field of contact category that is equal to, and this time I can choose AAA. So you'll notice how I can narrow it down more and more by selecting those uh, different fields by using the and. So now I took the list down to 51 clients. These are my active AAA clients. If I want to narrow it down even further, maybe hit and one more time. And I want to see maybe from their source field. I can say I want to see any active AAA client who came from using our source, a specific, um, let's see, we'll use radio lead. Anybody who is an active AAA client who came from a radio lead, and I can run that and narrows down to here's three clients who came from that source. Now, again, you get to choose what these options are in regards to those values, because those are all customizable, but this allows me to really use that data that I added into my database and narrow it down in whatever parameter I'm looking for. Now, you don't always have to narrow it down by status, then category, then source. Maybe I just want to see anybody who's an active client who came from this source. I can even just hit the red X on the right-hand side to remove the middle layer and rerun that search and say, here's all of my active clients who came from a radio lead, regardless of their category. So it doesn't matter the category they have at this point. And you'll notice it's really just creating those different groups. 
Now, before we do another search, I'm going to go back to Kevin's record. So I'm going to use the recently viewed in the top right and choose Kevin Arnold. And then from here, I'm going to scroll down and I want to talk about some other fields that are available. So even though he's marked as an active client, I use my keywords. If I scroll down just a little bit over here on the left hand side, I use my keyword list. And it's again, a customizable list where I can choose what keywords are available to add to a contact. But I see that I have him marked as an investment client. So in this case, I, I have all these different services and I see he's an investment retirement tax client, but maybe I wanna narrow down to all of my active clients who do investment work with me. So I can actually also narrow down by the keyword. So to do that, we're gonna go back to contacts on the left-hand side. We're already on advanced search because of our preferences. And I'm gonna start high level again by choosing contact status equal to active. After I do that, I'm gonna hit and one more time. And this time, instead of looking for a field in the contact, I'm looking for a field in the keyword section. So I can choose contact keywords. I only have one field. And then I can choose equal to just like before and then narrow down by my investment advisory client. So not only is he marked as a high level of status, he's also marked as an investment client. I can run that and see all of my contacts who also have those same two fields marked in their database. Now, if I wanted to build a little more complex search, um, let's say in this case, we're gonna actually go back and talk about status and category again, is Yes, I want to see every contact who is the status of active, but I want this list to include if they're a triple A client or if they're even a, a, a double A client. So in this case, what we're going to do is build the first funnel of any contact who's an active triple A client. And that's something we had just done before. So again, we're going to hit and over here and I'm going to do contact category one more time. And we're going to narrow that down to AAA. If I were to run that search, again, it's just showing me active AAA clients, but I also want to see my, uh, my AA clients too. Not just my AAA, but I also want to see my AA. Any time that you want to see two different values for the same field, and that's what I'm doing here is two different values, AA and AAA in the category field, what I want to do is instead of hitting and, I want to hit or. Anytime you click on or, it's essentially going to give you another tier where I can build uh, and funnel down to find a different group of contacts. Now, in this case, the or is really going to start over from the beginning. So what I want to do here is say, start at high level again. And I want to say, again, I need these contacts to be the contact status that is equal to active. And then this option has its own and as well and I can narrow that one down to contact category. This time I'm going to change the value over to double A. So when I use the or, what I like to describe it, it's like a funnel. The first search of contact status of active AAA client is the value, show me every single contact with this value, in addition to every single contact who has these values. So that's what the or is doing, is giving me the value of funnel one, plus the value of funnel two. So when I run that, it opens up my search and you can see I have 172 active double and triple A clients. Now, again, that's important to remember because the reason I can't come over here and say, and, and then do another category of contact category equal to double A, the reason hitting and for the same field doesn't work and it's going to give me zero results is because as an individual contact cannot be both AAA and AA category. It is impossible to have two categories on a contact record. So that's why I like to stress the importance of using or. But if I were to hit, and starting again in the beginning, active client with AAA value, then hit or. And if I were to only choose not the status, but just say category, and say equal to double A, what this search does is shows me every single active triple A client and every single double A client. The reason that's not correct is let's actually take a look at this list. 
you're going to notice I have Elizabeth Adams. She's an active AA client. She is who I wanted. But below that is Terry Adams. And he's an inactive client who's also marked as AA. So what it's doing is it's not taking status into account for any of the AA clients. That's why it's important to narrow down each funnel starting back from the beginning. I know it does sound a little bit like complicated and you have to add more work into it, but it actually gives you a lot more power with being uh, and controlling what contacts you're looking for. Uh, the reason I say that is, let's actually start this again. So if I wanna say, maybe I'm running, uh, doing an event and I'm going to invite all of my prospects and all of my top contacts. And I wanna see a list of my prospects and my AAA clients together. The reason that the or is so beneficial for something like that is again, contact status equal to active client and the category is AAA. Then if I hit or, I can say, I'm gonna do contact status this time and change it. We're gonna say equal to prospect this time. And I'm gonna make sure that all of those prospects have their own specific category. And I use actually um, warm and lost for my prospects. So I'm gonna make sure that all of my warm prospects are involved. So you can see that this list can show me all of my top clients and all of my warm prospects to bring those in. And I can actually get that list pretty easily from using the advanced search tool. Now, again, these are just a few examples of different uh, search uh, searches that you might want to create. We're gonna be running a few different more, but if there's ever a search that you run on a regular basis, I actually wanna talk about saving that search. And anytime you save a search, it creates what we call a quick list. And now a, a quick list is just that, a way to easily bring up quickly a list of contacts based off of your search parameters. So maybe this is all of my active AAA and warm prospects. I wanna save that. To do it, all I have to do is hit save after I run the search and it gives me the option to save it as a quick list. And I'm just gonna call this, uh, we'll say active AAA and warm prospect. You can name it however you wish, but I'm gonna call it active AAA and warm prospects being pretty straightforward because that's exactly what, I, what I'm looking for. And when you save the list, it creates itself as a quick list. Now, I'm actually gonna navigate away from the search page. So after you've saved a list at any point in time, if you wanna run that list, the easiest way to do it is to go to the recently viewed in the top right hand corner. So this little person with their hands in the air, and then where it says recent, I can tab over and click on quick lists. And you're gonna see a list of all the quick lists that anybody in your database has created but I'm gonna go right here to the one I just created called Active AAA and Warm Prospects. I click on that and it automatically runs that search for me. Now, the benefit here is it is going to be a dynamic list. So in this case, um, let's go ahead and click on Karen Arnold right here. So we're gonna click on her name. If at any point that she changes, uh, maybe she's no longer a AAA client and I come over here and I change her from a AAA to a AA and update her, she is now technically should not be involved in that list. So if I go back to recently viewed in the top, click on my quick lists, then click on active and warm prospects, you're now going to see there's Karen is no longer in this list. It's down to 62 because Karen is no longer uh, uh, in the parameters of either of these two funnels. All right. Now, another reason that you would maybe want to run searches, and we're not gonna dive too deeply into the actions, but I do wanna point this out is from the search page, you can always select all on the left-hand side or individually select any contacts you wanna make changes to or run reports for. And once they're selected, you can choose contact options on the right-hand side. And this is what opens it up for you to actually do an action with these contacts. So whether you want to run labels, mail merges, if you want to run PDF reports or exports into Excel, you can do so. You can even click to where it says bulk actions and you'll see there's a long list of items you can do from the search page. So I absolutely love the advanced search for that ability. It's, it's all about, I need a list of contacts and I need to do something with them. 
And this bulk action is the do something part. So whether it's make a change in some way, whether it's at an activity, maybe it's even assigning keywords or sending a broadcast email, you have the ability to do that from the search page. Now let's actually sort of refresh and let's talk about a few other options that advanced search is good for. One of my favorite, and uh, I'm actually just gonna refresh this page by clicking on advanced search up at the top. But one of my favorite things to do is actually group contacts by birthdays. So maybe you're an office that runs, uh, sends out birthday cards, um, or maybe you send out emails or things like that, but you need to narrow down and see who are the contacts who have birthdays. And this, in this case, I want to see if they have a birthday in a specific month. So if you do run your birthdays month by month, this is a great suggestion. Um, again, I always like to start high level by looking at just my active clients. Now you're not required to always start with contact status. This is just, I only want to give, send birthday cards to my active client. So which is why I start there. But in this case, I'm looking for anybody who has the status equal to active. Then I can click on and, and now in this case, I'm gonna choose contact again, but the field, I'm gonna choose DOB month. So date of birth month. And I can say equal to, and I'm gonna pull everybody up for April. And I can run that search and it's going to show me here is my 26 active clients who have birthdays in April. Now, one other thing that I want to mention with those contact options, if you do run a birthday search for month by month, my suggestion here is select all, go over to contact options on the right hand side, then click on reports. And the very first option here is going to be the birthday report. And when you run the birthday report or any of these PDFs, it'll actually open up and download them into a PDF. My favorite thing about the birthday report is it doesn't actually put them in alphabetical order. It's actually going to put them in the PDF in birthday order. So I can see that Mary Investor right here, or sorry, Jenny Investor is going to be the first person because her birthday is on the 6th. Then it moves to the 7th, the 9th. It's going to show you all of your contacts in birthday order with their main contact information. So if you do any kind of handwriting of birthday cards or giving them a phone call or sending an email, you have that information readily accessible. Now, again, that was in the contact options and the reports because I wanted to do something with those contacts. But you'll notice I can actually run those searches again by those actual months. It's a great uh, option to narrow it down. Now, another thing you can use advanced search for is finding missing information. So maybe I wanna see any active client who doesn't have a date of birth. Maybe I haven't filled out a specific field or if I wanna see if there's gaps in the information. In this case, in the second line, I can actually just say where the contact DOB and I can change the operand to is empty. And anytime you use the is empty search, you do not need to select the value because at this point, it just means I need to find if this field does not have a value in it. So if I run that search and narrow it down, I can see I have 56 active clients who do not have a date of birth listed in their contact record. So that's one great way to actually find missing information with the advanced search tool. Another option other than date of birth is also maybe switching this over to tax ID. So show me any active client who doesn't have a tax ID and I have just one contact. It's a great way to actually, again, find the holes in your data to see what you need to fill out. Now, again, even if it's looking for missing information, you can always save them as a quick list. And because again, those quick lists are dynamic, maybe every few months you go in and run that quick list and see, hey, did I add a contact record recently without a tax ID? And it'll show you that information right away. So you actually have a working list of who's missing information. Thanks so much for joining us today for this particular session. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 800-206-5030, option three for support, or just shoot us an email over to support at redtailtechnology.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.